Okay, so this is uh, 2009 question A2. So the 3D graphic of the block is shown, uh, 3D graphic below shows an arrangement of plane blocks. The drawing on the right is a partially completed perspective view of the underside of the tr uh, perspective view of the structure. Part A, complete the perspective drawing of the block and of the underside of the triangular top. All right, so basically they're looking for the blue block here. Now, you got to understand, okay, that the, the yellow block shares an edge with the blue block and that any line on the picture plane in perspective is a true height in, or any line on the picture plane in plan is a true height in perspective. Right. So you got to study this caref uh, carefully. So the line's brought down perpendicular to the picture plane. Now, we're going to take our set square and we're going to extend VP1 through this. Now that's going to get, that's going to get point C there and point A. Now, number one, okay, is on the ground line. So we're going to join one back to VP1 and we're going to join that down. So that's one, okay, and there's the bottom. Now, these lines, A, B, and this one here, go off to this vanishing point, to go off that way. So I'm going to join them to this vanishing point here. I'm going to just change that to VP2. That's a mistake. Now, how do I find B? Well, I join B to S, the spectator, where it pierced the picture plane. I go down perpendicular to the picture plane. And that's the perspective image of the line B and down here, I don't know, 4, B4. Now, this line goes off to VP1. So this line here goes off to VP1. So I'm going to join this to VP1. I'm going to heavy that in there. Now, I'm going to just pause and darken all those lines. Now, there's the line joined in. Now, the next part is to do the triangle underside. Now, I've noticed that a lot of students had difficulty with this. So, E to F lies on the line M to N. You've got to use the 3D diagram to understand. All right, so, if I extend M and N here, to VP2 E and F have to join there now what I need to do is find E in plan join it to the spectator so E and F in plan join to the spectator where they pierce the picture plane I'm going to go down perpendicular to that so where they, those two pink lines I drew in, where they pierce the picture plane, I'm going to go down perpendicular and where they intersect that line, that's point E and F respectively. So E, F. Now, if I want to get G, well, line E to uh, G goes off to VP1. So I'm going to line, or I'm going to join rather E to VP1. Now, how do I find out G exactly? Well, it's the same concept. Every point is joined to S. So G is joined to S, where it pierces the picture plane down perpendicular to the picture plane, and that's point. G and then to get the underside of it okay I would join back here so there's the underside of the triangular rooftop okay so it is now the underside of the red block right so I'm going to pause and heavy that in so part B, we have to determine the auxiliary vanishing points for the 30 degrees sloping faces of the triangular block and complete the drawing. 
So here's the sloping lines in the 3D graphic. Now what's very important is you understand where those sloping lines are. So here's the sloping lines in plan. So their auxiliary vanishing point will be above VP2 on the picture plane. So that's very, very critical to know. A lot of students mix up the wrong, uh, do the construction on the wrong vanishing point. Now, the angle they slope at is the angle you use. So from S, I'm going to mark a 30 degree line. So this line is at 30 degrees to S to VP2. So it's at 30 degrees to S to VP2. So I've marked in that 30 degree line and from VP2 I'm going to draw a line perpendicular to S to VP2. So that right angle is so important. If you don't have that right angle it won't work. Now that's the true height. So I'm going to take that true height. I'm going to lift it, my compass, and step it over VP2. Now that's the auxiliary VP2. So the sloping surface is going to go vanish towards that. So that's line that's where line E to 2 is going towards. Now if I want to find number 2, okay there's uh, point number 2 exactly, there's two ways I can do it. Look. Now, I wouldn't do it by this actual method in this particular question because it runs on to the next page, or next question. It's just reducing your space. It doesn't, you'd still get full marks for it. So I'd take the height, okay, the auxiliary vanishing point, and put it underneath V2. And then I could join the point through uh, point F there. So I'm a little bit off there. Now, if I wanted to find number two, uh, the second way I could find two in plan, as I said, join all the points to S, where it pierces the picture plane, down perpendicular to the picture plane, and then where it hit the line there, that's point two. Okay, and then to get number three, I would join two to VP1, it's still right even though it's along the line and if you wanted to get number three okay number three there even though you don't actually need it in this question as you can't see anymore you join three to s down perpendicular to uh the picture plane and you can see it's going to lie in that line that'd be point number three there so that's the question complete so it is that's the blue block there that's the yellow one and this is the red triangular underside remember you have gotta make sure you do the construction to find the auxiliary vanishing point to the right lines and that's the true height okay cheers thank you bye bye